Hi. We'd like to share some scripture about um, about some men of God who um, ba basically felt felt like they never wanted to be born because they were uh, put put into situations that that um, made them despair of life. As um, Paul the Apostle um, w w would say about himself um, in his second letter to the Corinthians. Um, the first one, what, the first scripture I'm going to bring up is Job, ch chapter three. Um, and jo Job has um, j j just gone through the ringer. Um, he had um, lost his wealth. He lost his um, part of his family, good deal of his family. <laughs> And he lost his um, health. And um, I want to share what he what he has to say um, in in that chapter. And um, after this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. And Job spoke, and he said, "May the day perish on which I was born, and the night in which it was said, a male child is conceived." May that day be darkness, may God above not seek it, nor the light shine upon it. May darkness and the shadow of death claim it. May a cloud settle on it, may the blackness of the day terrify it. As for that night, may darkness seize it. May it not rejoice among the days of the year, may it not come into the number of the months. Oh, may that night be barren, may no sh joyful shout come into it. May those curse it who curse the day those who are ready to arouse Leviathan. may the stars of its morning be dark may it look for light but have none and not see the dawning of the day because it did not shut up the doors of my mother's womb nor hide sorrow from my eyes why did i not die at birth why did i not perish when i came in from the womb why did the knees receive me or why the breast that i should nurse for now i would have lain still and been quiet i would have been asleep then i would have been at rest but kings and counselors of the earth who built ruins and ordered themselves or princes who had gold who filled their houses with silver or why was i not hidden like a stillborn child like infants who never saw light then there the wicked cease from troubling and there the weary are wet rest there are the prisoners rest together. They do not hear the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. Why is light given to him who is in misery, and life to the bitterer soul, who long for death, but it does not come, and search for it more than hidden treasures, who rejoice exceedingly and are glad when they find a gr when when they can find a grave? Why is light given to a man whose way is hidden and whom God is hedged in? For sighing comes before I eat, and my groanings pour out like water. For the thing I greatly feared has come upon me, and what I dreaded has happened to me. I am not at ease, nor am I quiet. I have no rest, for trouble comes. Now, that's what Job had to say because of the situation he, he, he found himself in at the beginning of um, his book. Now, um, another person I would like to bring up is Jeremiah the prophet, who um, who became a prophet at basically the worst time of of um, of the kingdom of Judah's life. Pretty much um, the, la the last four uh, kings um, who ruled um, Judah, and basically he found. He be found himself beset by people who um, didn't like what he had to say, basically because what God had to say, he had had to pronounce. Um, he had to be the bearer of bad news that that um, Jer Jerusalem was going to be um, going to be sacked by the Babylonians because they did not repent, and. Here's what Jeremiah had to say in um, Jeremiah chapter 20, starting with um, verse 14. Curse be the day in which I was born. Let the day not be blessed in which my mother bore me. Let the man be cursed who brought news to my father, saying, A male child has been born to you, making him very glad. 
and let that man be like the cities which the God, I mean, which the Lord overthrew and did not relent. Let him hear the cry in the morning and the shouting at noon, because he did not kill me from the womb, that my mother might have been my grave and her womb always enlarged, always enlarged with me. Why did I come forth from the womb to see labor and sorrow, that my days should be consumed with shame? Now, these people basically ha had legitimate complaints, and um, basically their feel feelings are valid. Um, I mean, they didn't ask for to be um, born in, at a time when um, <laughs> When they would ha have to face um, sorrow and um, you know, I'm, I'm sure that there are Christians who um, who basically f genuinely feel that. I mean, I mean to, to say that all Christians would have to be happy um, at all times is um, basically unrealistic. I mean. There, there is a time to um, laugh, and there is a time to mourn, as Ecclesiastes says. And um, and the, and these people are basically more mourning um, and w wishing for um, better times. And um, the only thing they got they got going going is um having god in their lives and um that that's what keeps them from um killing themselves i mean so that's pretty much all i have to share with you this morning so have a good day